The vast, sun-baked expanse of Starbase, Texas, stretches endlessly toward the shimmering Gulf of Mexico, a raw frontier where colossal steel skeletons claw at the sky like the bones of ancient giants. Dust devils whirl across the launch pads, carrying the faint tang of rocket fuel and ozone, as engineers in hard hats and neon vests scurry like ants in a storm. It's May 27, 2025, and the humid air thickens with a palpable electricity, the kind that raises hairs on the back of your neck, whispering promises of glory or catastrophe. At the heart of this industrial coliseum looms Starship, Elon Musk's unyielding stainless steel colossus, a 120-meter titan forged not merely to pierce the heavens, but to conquer them. This ninth integrated flight test isn't just another blip on a telemetry screen. It's a throbbing vein in the grand saga of human ambition, a machine blueprinted to shuttle colonists to Mars, to weave constellations of satellites across the void, and to etch our species indelibly into the solar system's ledger. As the clock ticks toward 6.36 p.m. Central Time, the world scientists in Houston, dreamers in Mumbai, skeptics in Washington, holds a collective breath, eyes glued to live feeds flickering with the static of destiny. In the shadow of the orbital launch mount, a monolithic tower that could double as a sci-fi prop, the countdown reverberates through the control room like a heartbeat amplified, to minus ten dot dot dot. Ignition sequence start. It's a ritual honed over years of fire and failure, but tonight it carries the weight of precedent. Thirty-three Raptor engines methane-fueled behemoths, each a symphony of cryogenic wizardry, packing over 230 kilopounds of thrust, stir to life in a choreographed cascade. The first few rumble low, a guttural growl building to a cataclysmic bellow as the full chorus joins. Seventeen million pounds of raw power seize the earth, the launch pad quaking as if the tectonic plates themselves protest. Flames erupt in a blinding corona, white-hot and insatiable, devouring the deluge of water from the flame trench in billowing steam clouds that blot out the setting sun. Booster 14-2, the inaugural super-heavy to embrace reuse, surges upward, a scarred veteran from Flight 7, its grid fins etched with the patina of atmospheric re-entry, like the weathered hide of a cosmic leviathan. No longer is this iron flung to oblivion. It's a phoenix, reborn to defy gravity's jealous grasp once more. The ascent unfolds as a vertical ballet, the stack slicing through the troposphere with predatory grace. G-forces compress the air inside the vehicle, a silent pressure cooker where every weld and rivet sings under strain. Hot staging separation crashes in like a thunderclap scripted by gods of engineering. Ship 35, the upper stage, ignites its six raptors in the booster's wake. Their plumes merging in a fleeting inferno that shears the stages apart with ballistic precision. Sparks fly, metals groan, but the divorce is clean a testament to iterations past, where earlier flights bled lessons in plasma and peril. Liberated, Super Heavy commences its prodigal return. The first, deterministic flip, a rotation so calculated it borders on artistry. Gone are the wild improvisations of yore. Here, ingenuity reigns. Engineers, in a stroke of lateral brilliance, partially obstructed the hot staging ring, redirecting exhaust plumes into an impromptu thruster, guiding the 70-meter hulk through its pirouette like a conductor wielding fire as a baton. The boost back burn ignites next, a curving ribbon of orange flame that arcs the booster's trajectory earthward. Toward the Indian Ocean's indifferent sprawl, a vast star-flecked canvas far from coastal crowds. This descent isn't a cautious glide. It's a deliberate flirtation with annihilation, an experimental gauntlet to map the boundaries of heat and drag. The angle of attack pitches to a daring 17 degrees, the atmosphere clawing back with supersonic fury, ablating heat shield tiles in glowing protest. Telemetry streams like a digital river. Temperatures spiking. Stresses flexing. Data points harvested like precious ore from the forge of flight. Far below, the splashdown zone awaits, 
a roiling expanse of midnight waves under a velvet sky, isolated and unforgiving. Twelve of the thirteen sea-level raptors flare to life for the landing burn, their harmony a fleeting illusion of triumph. Then, in the blink of an eye, discord reigns. At 382 seconds into the mission, an energetic event blossoms at the base. A vicious bloom of orange and white, telemetry snuffed like a candle in a gale. The booster, poised at a kilometer's altitude over the designated hazard zone, a barren stretch cordoned for such contingencies, plummets into calm silence. In mission control, the room freezes. Screens go dark, faces pale under the glow of redundance. Whispers snake through the team, fatigue from reuse etching hidden cracks. The descent's aggression overwhelming untested margins. Speculation is the fog of war in rocketry, but SpaceX is a forge, not a fog machine. They carve truth from the haze. Truth arrives on August 5th, 2025, in a deluge of data and diagrams, a post-flight manifesto that peels back the veil with surgical candor. The indictment falls on the fuel transfer tube, a colossal artery vast as the first stage of a Falcon 9 snaking cryogenic methane from the main tanks to the insatiable raptors. The steep re-entry's aerodynamic hammer winds howling at max speeds amplified forces beyond the pale, buckling the conduit in a fatal crumple. Methane and liquid oxygen mingled in forbidden intimacy, their union sparking ignition as inexorable as fate. It's a humbling dispatch from the front lines of scale. Starship's immensity turns whispers of stress into roars, Intuition into inadequacy, but humility fuels SpaceX's fire. The immediate salve for Block 2's remnants? Temper the angle of attack, a pragmatic leash on the beast's wild heart, slashing recurrence risks to shadows. Block 3, though, heralds renaissance. Early July's leaked images pixelated prophecies from the Starbase workshops unveil a redesigned Titan, girthier and granite tough, engineered for Raptor 3's 280-ton thrust salvo and the seamless savagery of concurrent burns during flips and touchdowns. The booster's missteps? Mere growing pains in a juvenile giant. SpaceX has already scripted its triumphant homecoming, the Mechazilla Tower's chopsticks snaring it mid-air like a falconer's glove. The narrative's pulse quickens aloft in Ship 35's solitary orbit. Parted from its lower limb, the upper stage vaults toward the Carmen Line's ethereal threshold, six raptors purring a relentless requiem. Three minutes into the burn, a spectral anomaly stirs. Nose cone sensors, vigilant sentinels in the payload bay's hush, detect methane's stealthy incursion, a gaseous specter seeping where none should tread. By the five-minute mark, the drama escalates. Main fuel tank pressure tumbles in freefall. While the nose cones vaults skyward in macabre duet, a pressure pendulum teetering on oblivion's brink. Yet Starship's innards, a labyrinth of code and contingency, prove their mettle. Autonomic algorithms recalibrate on the fly, weaving a tapestry of compensation that safeguards velocity, ushering second-stage engine cutoff, SECO, with the fidelity of a metronome. Orbital insertion dangles like forbidden's fruit, ripe yet elusive. The coroner's report traces the sabotage to a fuel diffuser perched on the methane tank's forward dome, a diminutive dynamo in the autogenous pressurization orchestra. This self-reliant system vaporizing propellant to inflate tanks without helium's crutch embodies SpaceX's purest ethos. But a sense vibrational onslaught, a relentless tattoo of turbo pumps and airflow, exacted tribute. The diffuser splintered, loosing gaseous methane into the payload bay and nose cone sanctum. Burn phase pressures clung tenaciously, but engine quiescence unleashed Armageddon. Surplus vapor bloated the nose like a tempest-trapped galleon. Standard venting rights, as Rhoda's respiration, birthed bedlam, an attitude error spiraling into yawing frenzy, the ship lurching through zero-g like a mariner in a squall. Fail-safes awaken, ironclad guardians, venting aborts, forestalling hull-rending rupture, 
but the angular anarchy vetoes payload deployment with cruel finality. Actuator assemblies, besieged by freakish loads, seize in defiance, the bay doors yawn forever deferred. Reaction control thrusters muster a defiant counterpoint, a microjet pad to do restoring equilibrium. Venting recommences its watchful rite. Forty seconds elapse in suspended agony, then ocular feeds betray the coup de grace. Liquid methane cascades into the nose, a cryogenic flood chilling sensors to sub-zero despair. Passivation protocol engages, a stoic exorcism propellant expelled to the cosmic sea. The in-space relight burn offered as sacrifice on safety's altar. Re-entry ignites in discord, belly flop attitude warped, ablative tiles etching luminous scars against the plasma sheaths, sapphire fury. Communications dissolve at heating zenith, a digital dirge. Terminal telemetry murmurs at 46 minutes elapsed, 59 kilometers zenith over the Indian Ocean's ink. Bang on the bullseye, no autonomous flight safety fouls, abort system slumbering undisturbed. Flight simulators, those virtual soothsayers, blind to the diffuser's duplicity, but Nick Gregor's test crucibles, Texas Badlands turned to hellish holodecks, replicated the revolt with prophetic zeal. Atonement manifests redesigned, diffuser reborn with hydrodynamic finesse, flows finesse to whisper, structural strain subdued to murmurs. It's Inquisition? A sadistic gauntlet flight facsimile torments, operational lifespan protracted tenfold yielding pristine verdict. Flight Nine's tapestry frays at edges, yet in the cosmos's parsimonious ledger, it's opulent, epiphanies keener than any unscarred trajectory. Block Two's epic, insatiable for epicurean twists, craves crescendo. June 18, 2025, transports us to Massey's test stand at Starbase, a monolithic altar of concrete and rebar, where prototypes kneel before the idol of ignition. Ship 36, primped for Flight 10 sexed at static fire, quaffs cryogenics beneath the languid Texas gloaming. Technicians silhouetted against sodium vapor lamps. Then Nemesis erupts, dual detonations viscera the vehicle, spawning a monolithic fireball that devours the night, lashing infrastructure with shrapnel spite. Debris plummets in fiery confetti. The stand bears gashes like war wounds, yet the Rio Grande Valley's hamlets dream on undisturbed, no klaxons, no specters of spillover. The inquiry, a scalpel of scrutiny, accuses a composite overwrapped pressure vessel, COPV, ensconced in the payload bay. Occult trauma, dodging vigilance or vetting, surrendered to proof pressure's inquisition, riving the chassis and begetting propellant perdition. To fathom the COPV's arcane jeopardy, plumb its alchemical core, a bastion of pressurized poise, hewn by material sorcery. Nucleus, a gossamer liner of aluminum's luster, steel sinew, Inconel's insolence, or polymer's plasticity, an adamant epidermis rebuffing gases insidious osmosis, enveloping, a tendril tapestry of carbon filament, helically entwined in latticework lore, petrified in resin's raven gloss, overwrap supremacy, it defies size paroxysm, hoarding nitrogen for starship's anima cabins, buttressed against vacuum's veracity, Ethers exercised, mortals mollified amid the ether. Avian juggernauts, they amputate avert a poise where drams decree doom, yet intricacy incubates insidiousness. Inception, crucible of calculus and cataclysm, filaments furl over liner, bulking at dome's defiance double curvatures, contorting to topological treason, vector veers engendering triaxial turmoil. Pauses, preludes in the ply, Nascent chasms, fetal flaws fixated to fissure. Autofretage anoints the agony, vessel vilified at 150 to 200 percent operational outrage, liner liquefying plastically, incising compressive phantoms to parry posterior pulsations. Savvy? Verily but vexation. Microcracks midwifed in dermis or damask? Thermal travails from liquefied limbo to re-entries Ragnarok foment them as fault lines in frost? Scrutiny stumbles, sonic stutter and skein snarl. 
radiographs riddle the recesses ruses. Proofs parody, yet preclude flight's fulsome frenzy oscillations, nullity, the occult overtones of odyssey. COPVs loom as leitmotifs in space's somber score. Challengers' collets crooned their frailty. Firmament fortresses folded to furtive fissions. Doom? A sequestered squall sprung potency paralleling payload, plating pulverized in pulses. SpaceX is salvo, a stratagem of stratagems. Pressures paired, yoke yielded. Precursive proofs, probings pruning the puny, cannons calcined, culling the crumbly. Arcane assays unveiling umbral ulcers. Casings colossal, custodians come clarions, cabling casualties as coal mine canaries. Prospect? Progenitorial production, aping Falcon 9's phalanx autarchy over aliens, allegiance alloyed in autochthonous blaze. These lacerations, Flight 9's fractures, Ship 36's holocaust, art elegies, their elegiac forges. Iteration's incantation alchemizes adversity to ascent, intuit instantaneously, innovate inexorably, impel intensified. Block 3 beckons from the bulwarks, embroidered with enhancements, chassis chastened, pressurization polished, phalanxes prescient proclaiming predictability's pantheon. To tether starships surge to patrimony, conjure Falcon 9, SpaceX's grizzled grail bearer that galvanized the galactic gateway. Christened 2010, a 70-meter mastodon, 3.7 meters a beam. 550 tons tinctured, a minnow to Starship's 120-meter, 9-meter, 5,000-ton megalith. Nine Merlins motivate the mount 760 kilonewtons deck level, each RP-100, X's rugged requiem, lone vacuum Merlin lofted. Starship reposts with 33 raptors rooted, 230 KLBF methane's immaculate ire, and nine Empyrean six surf-tuned. Three abyss-attuned amplifying Leo, largesse from 22.8 tons to 100 to 150. Reusability's rapturous reprise. Reusability's rosary? Falcon intoned it. 2015's propulsive purchase on flotillas and footings, surpassing 300 salvos. Revivals in weeks weave. Octagons ousted from oceans, undercarriages unmade. Apex abides ablative, engendering Starlink's sidereal skein, dragon's demotic drifts, exactions? Dollar sixty to ninety million per peregrination. Starship? Omniscience's odyssey pinnacles pincers for pedestals, celestial circuits consummated. Hiatus's hourly diving deeper than decamillions Martian missive. Falcon fettered the firmament, resolute rover, NASA's nexus. Starship? Astral Argosy, Aerological Apostle. Both blaze Musk's bonfire, Falcon fathoming the feasible, Starship staking the stellar. October 2025 unfurls auspiciously. Flight 11 fixates the 13th, Block 2's benison. Block 3's brood bestirs, propellant polkas and perigee, constellation cataracts, Artemis astral ambles. Each elevation ecstasy or elegy edifies the edge. We scribe not a projectile's paroxysm, but Odyssey's opus mankind's manuscript in meteor's marrow. The Empyrean entreats. Starship echoes eternal.